welcome back to all my viewers and subscribers. Yeah man, welcome back to another edition of the Bushcraft Cooking. Yeah man, we are on the farm another day. Yeah man, one more day on the farm. And today, we are going to something different. Yeah man, we are going to a Jamaican dish we call ton caramel and steam fish. Yeah man, same old ton caramel. A lot of people in Jamaica, they frown upon ton caramel because a lot of people, especially rich people, they feed it to their dogs. So a lot of people think ton caramel are actually dog food. And ton caramel in other countries are people's national dish. Like in um, Antigua, when I was in Antigua, the national dish in Antigua was ton caramel. But they call it fungi. In Barbados, the national dish is ton caramel, but they call it um, cuckoo, which is served with um, flying fish. So in other countries, what other people found upon, it's like something that's different, you know? that people love. Yeah man. So we're gonna teach you how to make the ton caramel today and how to steam down fish in a coconut milk. Before we get into it, if you're not a subscriber to the channel, hit the subscription button below. Yeah man. And share the video with a family member or a friend. Leave a comment man and like this video. I appreciate your support and the bushback movement. Let's get it chopping. Yes viewers and subscribers. So for today's menu the ingredients that we're gonna need for today's menu is cornmeal scallion thyme garlic onion we have some cayenne pepper we have sweet pepper and carrots for seasoning we're gonna use a little bit of maggi all-purpose seasoning and some black pepper and over here we have our fish and over here we have the okra because you know so steam fish can't cook without okra all right yeah man, and we also have some dark brown sugar yes, and some lime because we are going to make some lime baby you know. You know baby? Yeah man, we are make some lemonade. We wash down the ton caramel and steam fish. Alright, so stay tuned. We are going to get it chopped. Yes, so juicy coconut there now. Why are your boys walking playing a fly? Alright, so I mean juicy coconut them right now. We have three coconut just a greater. We are juice them because we was going to The coconut trash and all big sweet old school way to send people. A few times just make the coconut milk and we use um blender. Today we're not using a blender. Yeah, celebration it. Rastafari and yeah? Yeah man, bless up man. Yeah man. So right now we have some coconut trash left. And so when you look at you, that Jamaica, and your granny or your mommy done cook, um, grated coconut and now you see trash. This, watch this, this is how you do it. So all of the young people that watch our video, we're gonna try that, try that one here. You put the coconut trash in here, so. And you mix up it with little, uh, the good old sugar. And if you notice, so we now use no granulated sugar, you know. We use black sugar. Yeah man, you mix up this. As I look at you, that's so. You need the thing, you know. Mix up the sugar and the coconut trash. Yeah, man. And you're gonna lead with this, you know. So you make yourself a little snack, you know. A little appetizer, you know. Yeah, man. Tasty. Yeah, man. Real old yard style. So we eat up a country, you know. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. <laughs> Same old thing from real yeah, man. Real thing. Right, clean the fish now, yeah? Alright, come close, let me show the people some things. If you notice, if you want to know when a fish is fresh, the eye of the fish is always clear. If I rub the lime on the fish eye now and put it down, the fish eye is going to get white. It's not going to be clear anymore. So that's one thing you can take to know your fish is fresh. 
or if there's any form of chemical or anything going your fish in the future when you're buying fish. Alright, if you notice, you look at the fish I know, you see the colour is getting white. That's because chemical go on it. So you want fish with um, clear eyes when you're buying fish to know that your fish is fresh. Alright, so we're just washing the fish with some um, lime and vinegar water. Right, yeah. So this is a season process for the fish. The most important part of the fish to season is the cavity of the fish. So right here I have a mixture of um, Maggi all-purpose and black pepper. That's what we're going to use on a season of the cavity for our fishes. We're going to season the entire fish still. But the cavity of the fish has to be seasoned properly. Alright, so we'll start the process now of making the tongue calm here. Come here, babe. Put in the coconut milk in the pot. And I'm going to allow this to boil up before I add the... Um, before I add the... caramel to it. So I'm just going to allow that to boil up. This is the ingredients we're going to need to season the tongue calm here. We have scallion, garlic, pepper and thyme. All right? So we have a teaspoon of salt, scallion, thyme, garlic, and pepper. We're going to the coconut milk. That's the seasoning we need for the tonic milk. Alright, so I'm going to make this boil up. And after I boil up, I will come back and add the caramel to it. People, ton caramel is just like porridge. If you never cook porridge, you cook ton caramel the same way. So what we are going to do is mix up the ton the caramel in the water so it no um, lump up when you put it in the pot. You don't have to do it in there. You could just put the um, you could just put the caramel directly into the pot. But I like to do it this way so it prevents the lump them from coming out. So I just love to do it this way. Alright, so we're just going to add this in our pot now and mix it up. Yeah? Alright, so we're just pouring the caramel in the pot. Yeah, I have a mix it. It's not long. It looks very watery now, but soon get hard. You see a lot of oil on the top that comes from the coconut because we use organic coconut milk. So we didn't have to put any butter or any oil in it. Some people put oil or butter in it, but we didn't have to do that because we had oil coming from the coconuts. Alright, so you see the texture is getting thicker now. I think I should add a little bit more water on this one because this look like it's going thick. The soup you make this, the soft you your ton can with a bit. Ah, they have this name for it when you go to the top restaurants, they call it uh, Palenta. So you see this on a um, menu in a restaurant, your fancy restaurant, and it's called Palenta, I think that's the name of it. And it's very expensive. Yes. So we're going to make this start cook, and we're cooking for about another 25 minutes. So we're going to cover it and make it, it simmer down. Yes, people, it's a rain, but that now stop it showing up. We're down there, the hut, a good thing. We built up the hut the other day. Yeah, man. There and the hut, you know? Rain and fall. Yeah, man, the hut, a whole up same way, you know? <laughs> Uh -oh. We're going to start the process for the steam fish now, yeah? 
So now go um, cut them cayenne pepper here yeah? and put them in the pot for saute with some yeah, a little olive oil. Yeah man, so you know, I cut out the pepper them, some cayenne pepper. And them cayenne pepper are good ripe for our farm here. Yeah, so. The only thing we use right now when we grow up on the farm are the garlic and the and the, um, the carrot. So then I go saute in some oil. Steam fish and okra. Put them in a coconut milk. Not no bad, so. I'm going to put in some olive oil in the pot. I'm starting my arm. I'm going to put my arm. More fire! I'm going to put in some of the seasoning in them now. They don't put the rest on the top and make it steam out. But it's going to stay on the bottom. Yes. And then I'm going to throw in the coconut milk now and then make it boil down. Alright, so I'm going to put the coconut milk in this and make it simmer down. And then I'm going to put in the fish there. Alright, so people, I'm going to observe. Is it the custard, the coconut milk, custard, the vanilla stuff? Yeah, man. It's like custard there, this make it really nice, you know? Just like me to cook a run down, but I make it cook all the way down. Because the steam fish I'm going to do, I'm going to juice tonight. So, I'm going to make it cook all the way down. You know? This is the custard here now. This is wet. With the flavor. And the onion and all of that goodness now. I'm going to have the lower section of the pot. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add my fish in the pot that was seasoned, up, seasoned before. I'm going to put them head and tail. For those of you who don't know about that now, this creates more space in the pot. And you put it in the fish in the pot. Now the fish in the pot, I'm just going to put the okra and the rest of the seasoning and top here the steam out. I'm going to turn the fire down and then let them steam. I'll cover it up with this aluminum fire. Yes, yeah, so I just add in the carrot and pan top now because we don't want them to cook too much. You know. We just want them to be crunchy the same way. We want no vegetables to overcook. You know. So we just add them in the top of the sun. You see, we have fish we have cooked. We want the pot spicy, so I'm going to put the little more pepper in the pot. You know. Cut two scotch when you put it in it. Now I'll wrap the cayenne pepper in the pot. This is the part of yeah man, the papaya just come right off of the farm a while ago. Yeah. Yeah man. Mmm, that smells so good. Yeah man, push in the pepper and I make it kicky in the flavor of the fish. The fish have the pepper, you know. Alright, so we're going to give this a, we're going to give this a 10 minutes time to steam down and we take it off. We're going to make some lemonade now, you know. Yeah man. So lemonade, aka babbage, aka wash. Mm. All right, people, see there? The tongue calm in ready, and the fish ready over here. So we're gonna take them off and serve you now. Rain a fall, but I saw it go. Actually, yeah, man, rain a fall, but the show still a go on. Yeah, man. Farmer Reefer. There, I know. Yeah, I eat some ton of and fish. Yes, you know. I would have tell you, where are you going with this now? I know, it's a beverage. A beverage? Yeah, man. Lime, and water, vitamin C, good for your body, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How this? Better days, Jacob? That's right. Yeah? Yeah, it's a real authentic food, though. 
Yeah, 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 man. Biggs? Yeah? I bash. You say I eat out I bash today? Mm -hmm. Alright, sir. You have a different view today? Yeah, I play it for vacation. You play it for vacation? Alright, you say. You play it now, come out until you reach 300 subscribers. Alright, sir. Alright, my boss. The pattern reach 1000. Alright, boss. The pattern reach how many subscribers? 1000. 1000 subscribers. Yeah, 20 dumplings in my shop. Yeah, man. In my pot. Hey, with yeah. knife. Yeah, man. Real <laughs> bush style. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Yeah, I'm pushing on a fork. Do something else. And see the people, the finished product are the steam fish and ton Right now, it's rain on the farm, but they don't stop the show. So the rain fall on my plate, rain fall on me, but it's still going on. Mm -hmm. Alright, people, if you enjoyed that video, just give the video a like. Yeah, man, share it with your family and friends. And thank you very much for subscribing. And if you have, you're not a subscriber to my channel, just hit the subscribe button, please. Yeah, man. I appreciate the love. Enough respect. See you on the next episode of the Bush Bad Cooking.